Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Copper Dot Productions. In this week's video, we're going to be working on the R32 GTR tanks, getting one ready to go in the yellow car. By getting it ready, I mean replacing these uh, horrible tabs that have broken off, gone brittle over time and snapped away. I'm going to be replacing them with some metal ones that'll sort of screw in, be JV welded in and uh, not break again. Unfortunately, I have to get a new one of these because this one's cracked on the bottom. Could probably JV weld it back together, but don't really want to do that, don't want to risk leaking fuel fumes and burning down my car on track or something like that. So we can't get the tank in today, we'll get it as far along as we possibly can. Let's jump into it and see what we can get done. You. Alrighty, so the first thing I want to do with these tanks is uh, give them a good clean down, strip off all the accessories off them. That means things like this, that, uh, these, just basically anything and everything. Uh, most specifically these nasty tabs, or what's left of them more like. Um, give them a good spray down with a gurney and give them a good evaluation, see what we're really working with and uh, see which one's going to be better suited to the black car and to the yellow car and then from there put one of them aside and focus on just the one that we're going to be putting in the yellow car so first thing I'm going to do is spray them down with the gurney and uh, does that literally just break off plastic inside? I think it did. Anyway, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is spray them down with the gurney and uh, go from there On there with a the gurney, clean the insides of them out as much as I could, clean the outsides as much as I could. It's just got a little bit of stuff on the surface in there. I'm going to use some alkaline cleaner, I think it is. Nope, it's aqua cleaner. One to one with water, chuck it in there, slosh it around, leave it for a little while, get it all out. It's supposed to clean everything and not hurt the plastic, which is ideal for what we want. I think we use this one for the yellow car just because it's um, a little bit rougher on the bottom and I'd rather take the better one for the black car. What we're going to be doing to fix them because you can't buy replacement tabs for them, we're going to be running these. So basically what this does, this will go in the top of the hole, this will go inside the tank, screw up onto that and then we'll get this on the top there. She'll run in there. That'll be bolted to the tank, that'll be nice and tight in there, and then that will provide us with the uh, right fitting we need to be able to run our pipe to our uh, um, intake and to run our two vents. Obviously the two vent ones are smaller, but they are the uh, exact same thing. Um, to seal up around them, just JV plastic weld. Yeah, so all we're going to have to do is get that nice and flat first before actually attempting to even put these in. <laughs> Just like that. And then this just goes out and up, joins onto this one. Second one, gonna have to just drill in. Each one is drilled, set in the right place, and that is pretty much how each one is going to go. So what I'll actually do now is uh, take all the tabs out now that the holes are drilled and all that sort of stuff. The inside of the tank is still dirty and of course it's going to have all those little bits of plastic in there from drilling the holes and cleaning them. So I'll fill it up with that cleaner, aqua, whatever stuff that is, um, let it sit for a while, rinse it around again, pour it all out, uh, let it dry, and then uh, I'll go over, chuck some epoxy on it, put them in place permanently, and um, that'll be it. leave that and then um, come back and see where we're at. Probably take the cooking utensils back inside, but anyway. Alrighty, washed out the tank a couple times with some water. Um, it's very wet on the inside at the moment, only that it was. No more plastic, no more garbage, nothing on the inside, which is fantastic. Um, it's basically a clean slate starter, which is what we want. Um, only thing left to do now is to essentially get it dry and then uh, clean these up with just some rubbing alcohol. Uh, so that the epoxy has the best chance it can to stick to them. I think what we're going to do is hit it with a heat gun, 
Um, basically just go over the whole thing, try and get it as dry as possible, just sit the heat gun pointing in there, then just try and get the entire inside of it dry basically, that'll be then ready to fill up with petrol when it goes in the car. So we'll do that and then we'll prepare the uh, JB Weld and the bungs and get them ready to go in. Woo. That'll do. I'm thinking top one's probably going to be easiest to put in and as it'll be the first, I prefer it to be an easy one. So we'll uh, jump in and try and get that done. Yeah, I think that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. I'm going to lay this down flat so that it stops running. I'm pretty happy with how it is at the moment. And if it dries like that, I'm more than confident it'll get a good seal. Well, I'm all done now. The tank is, uh, I mean, it's done. Uh, all I have to do is wait for the epoxy to dry, uh, readjust the direction of those top parts. Those top parts themselves will have some special tape around it that also has to be petroleum resistant. Um, but then they'll be facing the right direction firstly uh, and also petrol proof. So it's done as far as we can get it today. I have to wait overnight for that epoxy to dry properly. It says 30 minutes to set, but it's like, you know, it's always 24 hours to fully cure. Um, so yeah, I'm really stoked how it came out. It looks really good, looks really solid. When I went around doing each one, so this one I didn't have to, uh, but on the other I had to use this to tighten the top down all the way in, like regardless of the bottom one, I had to use this to get this all the way down. Um, so that's sort of in there until it dries and then I'll, you know, it'll tighten all the way around facing this way. This one's almost the right orientation, just slightly off. So these two will come over into the middle join onto this thing here, probably more like there, and then they'll go from there uh, into the um, uh, vent to atmosphere. This one here comes this way and then goes up into the uh, this part, or that'll be longer, of uh, the drain there, and um, that's it for the tank. Unfortunately now I kind of have to wait until it dries to do anything more with that I also have to wait until I have the cradle for the fuel pump to be able to progress the tank any further than where it is already at The car or like I said in the last video It's uh, it's all tied up to the point where it's kind of just waiting on the fuel pump and the fuel tank So this is really the last part to tie in um, To be able to turn the key and to hear it start so I'm getting real pumped seems close again Seemed close when I was putting the engine and seemed so close back then thought I was gonna be able to do it within two or three videos two or three weeks but that dream was taken away when I found the rust in the tank. So thank God we we're able to secure these GTR tanks and it was actually really, really easy to uh, manipulate this to be able to work for me. So all I've got to do is cross my fingers that the resin dries well overnight. Uh, and then when I come back in the morning, it's solid as a rock and ready to go. Good to handle some petrol fumes and uh, that's it. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, I'll see you next week where we uh, hopefully are going to be putting the cradle in this, the fuel tank in this, and then putting it in the car and um, getting it all secured and plumbed up, which should be good. Will be good. It will be good. Will be good. I'll see you then, guys. Bye.